Hey folks, Jay James for the all new Honda of Conyers and it is my pleasure to sponsor Miss Irene Cooking Show. We have got the new used car superstore open. How about 2010 Toyota Corolla still under factory warranty, over 30 to choose from, 13880 for this show. Appreciate all your kindness and good words for Miss Irene and thank you for letting us sponsor your show. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. This is Irene and as you know I've been gone all summer been a busy one so we took a little time off but we're back and I'm so happy to be here. Friends uh, have come up to me and friendly strangers in parking lots, grocery stores and even at uh, Salem Campground and said when's he coming back on? Well here we are. It's still Taste of Newton but cooking with Irene. I want to introduce to you a new friend Jay James and I'm gonna let Jay tell you all about himself. I'm Jay James and I'm the owner of the all-new Honda of Conyers and it is my pleasure to be able to be on this show with you, Miss Irene. Well, mine too. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I can't wait. Okay. Jay is a wonderful cook. Besides uh, being an entrepreneur, he has been a mighty good friend to a lot of organizations in Covington, the Arts Association, the Chamber, and now he's the sponsor of this show. So he is really spreading it around, as they say. And I can't wait to do every month for the next few months cooking with Jay and Irene. <laughs> and he's got something today that he came over last night and started marinating. A pork tenderloin and what's the secret marinade? Uh, margarita mix. Frozen? Frozen margarita mix. Real simple, real easy to do for us guys that really are kind of fumbles in the kitchen. <laughs> but it's football season so there'll be no fumbles with the margarita pork tenderloin. And I hope none at the Georgia football games. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go out on the grill and uh, get this going. So okay. y'all come on out with us. All right. Jay's got us out here by the grill, and he's going to take us step by step on exactly how to make this wonderful, I wish you could smell it, pork tenderloin. It's awesome, and it's real easy to do. All you need to do is go to the grocery store, of course, and get a boneless pork tenderloin. Uh, get your Ziploc bag, heavy duty of course, one can of frozen margarita mix that you find over in the frozen juice section. You put that in with the, mar uh, with the pork tenderloin in the bag, get a lime and cut it long ways in slices and squeeze it and put it down in there also. Easy. Skin and all. Skin and all. Seal the bag up, massage it in. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Got it. And then put it in the refrigerator for three hours, no more than three hours because the citrus juices in limes and the margarita mix will start breaking down the meat. So you oh. get your best flavor right at three hours chilled. Okay. Come out to the grill, put your grill on like we talked yesterday, mm -hmm. low, and you cook it slow. Okay, oh. and it takes uh, uh, about an hour to do it. You want to get the temperature up to about 160 degrees. Uh, you can take what you've got left in your bag and slowly marinate it to keep the meat moist. You do not have to turn this. Oh. You put it, uh, the fat side down, just leave it up and let it cook and the meat will come up and it keeps the uh, marinade on the top of the meat. Gotcha. So it is a great, easy thing to do, but I do recommend that you, before you, you clean your grill really good, spray it down with pan because you don't want it to stick. Because once you stick, you've got to rip the meat off the grill. There goes your flavor. No, okay. we don't want pulled pork on the grill. No pulled pork on the grill, <laughs> exactly. Love it. All right, it's so simple to do. So now, simple. golly, that would that one piece will serve, gosh, how many people? Well, if you're going to do a tailgate special at Georgia, you could probably feed an easy six to eight people off that one piece of meat. Yeah. Yeah. A good That's sandwich. Right. Good sandwich. Or okay. just, well, most a lot of people like it with a little dipping. A little dipping's good. Yeah, yeah a little dipping's great. All right. All right. Holly, isn't he great? <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough my for pleasure. being here it's and uh, my pleasure. and sponsoring the show. Oh and God. Uh, golly, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Hurry that thing up a little bit. I did, I did. <laughs> thank you for having me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Want to preserve those precious old video Super 8 and 8mm home movies onto a DVD? Don't send them to some out-of-state transfer company that could lose or damage your film. Entrust them to Current Events Productions. We provide the highest quality transfer. Each individual frame of the film is hand-cleaned, lubricated, digitally captured, and remastered. We'll even help you organize your reel. Schedule an appointment to preview your film for free. Current Events Productions in downtown Covington on the corner of Floyd and Elm. Hey again, and wasn't that fun to meet Jay? If you run into him on the street or you go up to his dealership, 
be sure and tell him how much we appreciate him being a sponsor of current events, Taste of Newton, Cooking with Irene. We've got the grill already fired up, all the meat's done, and now we're going to work on some hors d'oeuvres, side dishes, and desserts. I'm going to make a really quick and easy uh, cheese ball that I started making years ago. And uh, a hint, you ladies that are watching, uh, men do love this because it's got a little bite to it, okay? We've got an eight ounce um, package of cream cheese that's softened and we're gonna add just a little mayonnaise and we're gonna mix it all up together. And then I've got some horseradish. This is what's good and you can put as much or as little in there as you want because you know it does have a bite. Okay, and then Parmesan cheese. We're just gonna mix it all up together. Chopped olives, stuffed green chopped olives. That's a small jar. And we're just going to fold it all together. Mix, mix, mix. And it's going to make the nicest size ball. And then the kicker is really going to be what we're going to put on top of it. Roll it all around in some chipped beef. If any of you watching have a question about cooking, uh, it doesn't have to be about what we're doing today. It could be about anything. And, uh, and leave your name, first name your question, and then next month, we'll answer the questions. If I don't know the answer, I'll look it up, and if I can't find it that way, I'll make it up. But you will get an answer. And then we're gonna put it on our little plate here, and of course, it's going in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Here is this little jar of chipped beef that I've chipped up. You know, it comes in like sheets. And um, serve it with crackers. And oh, what a hit. And you know me, I like to do anything I can ahead of time. And this is certainly one you can do because it's even better the next day. It's so um, married, as they say, all the flavors are together. So isn't that fun and easy and pretty? All right, two down. Let's now start on some side dishes. Hey folks, Jay James for the all new Honda of Conyers. Thank you for letting us sponsor Miss Irene's show. Go online at any time at hondaofconyers.com. Check out our huge selection of new and used cars. And we are dealing on the east side of Atlanta. We are the east side's used car superstore. And that's hondaofconyers.com. Exit 82, I-20, go south one mile. So anyway, we will talk later about how to get in touch with me through email or and telephone number that'll be at the bottom of the screen. Hi. Rosa, hey, come in here. This is my good friend Rosa Hardiman from the grand metropolis of Mansfield, Georgia. <laughs> How are you? Hey. What you got? I bake, I know you don't like to bake, so I bake you, I bake two cakes, so I decided to bring you one. Well, thank you very much. How perfect. What is it? It's a pound cake. Okay. Oh, family recipe? Yes, ma'am. All right. They're the best kind. Oh, Roro, you outdid yourself. That is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, I do appreciate it because you're right. I don't like to bake. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> it takes too long and I don't have the patience. So we were going to add this with one of our desserts we're going to do today. It's perfect timing. Good. And you're on the way to a birthday party? Yes, ma'am. All right. And what a lucky girl that's getting. It's a girl, right? Yes. Getting a birthday cake yeah. right out of the kitchen of Roro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for coming by. Bye. See you later. Bye. Isn't she wonderful? Wow, what a treat. Billy, I'm gonna have to hide this from you because there won't be any left tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna talk about doing two quick uh, appetizers and we're starting out with one that has different names called nuts and bolts or scrabbles and so forth. So come on over to the stove because I burned up too many pans in the oven doing this. So I finally figured out to do it on top of the stove and I stand here and don't leave it and it doesn't burn. So come on over to the stove. I have a stick of butter that's melted in this nice big pan and we're going to put in a few dashes of uh, Worcestershire sauce 
give it a little flavor. And then we're going to add a cup and a half, it can be as much as you want, of almonds, a cup and a half of pecans. This is great for, um, you know, drop-ins in the afternoon or football games, any of those uh, times you want to have a little snack on hand. And of course, after you do this, you uh, keep it in the refrigerator. Because even though you cook it a little bit, nuts still have a lot of oil in them and you don't want it to get uh, stagnant or rancid on you. All right, unsalted peanuts. Mm -hmm. And then the really fun thing, this is multi-grain um, little O's. You might recognize the shape. And we're going to put about two cups of this in there. Let's just guess. Does that look like two cups? I think so. All right, that's it. We're going to sprinkle a little garlic pepper. Yes, garlic pepper, not salt. This is going to give it a little kick. Okay. Oh gosh, this is already smelling so good. And then after it cools, we're gonna do this for about probably five minutes, but don't leave it now. You gotta keep stirring because it will burn even on top of the stove. Then after it cools, we're gonna store it in a airtight container. And like I said, keep it in the refrigerator. And if you wanna keep it longer than that, it'll also keep forever in the freezer. So here we go. That part is done. It's been five minutes. Now, we're gonna do double deviled eggs. Come on over to the counter. Moving out but not moving in yet? Spring cleaning filled up your garage? Need a place to park your boat? Store it at Store It of Covington. Convenient location, secure and well lit. Clean storage rooms, five by five to 24 by 32. Some with lofts, some with power. Climate controlled rooms from 10 by 10 to 10 by 30. Outdoor storage for boats or cars or trailers. Penske truck rental too. Everything you need for moving and storage is at Store It of Covington. We're gonna talk about the twice deviled eggs. And I know you're wondering, what, what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna tell you. First of all, let's talk about how to boil an egg. There really is a trick. You put them in a pan of cold water. Bring it up to a bowl. Minute it comes to a bowl, take it off the eye and cover it. And that's it. You see, you don't have that dark ring around the yolk. When you do it this way, they're perfectly cooked and by all means peel them under a slightly running cold water because that makes the peeling come off a lot easier. All right, we've got the yolks in here now. This is white chicken breast deviled ham, but it's not ham, it's chicken. Of course you could use ham if you wanted to, but this is one of those mixes of um, which came first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it in this dish because we're gonna have both of them in there. So we're gonna add this can, it's a large can, of um, deviled chicken to the yolks of um, sweet relish. Not much, you don't want it overpowering because you want this other taste of um, turkeys, the secret ingredient. Oh God, it's so good. And it's spicy too. We'll put two good little spoonfuls of that and some mayonnaise to hold it all together and start stuffing. Now if you want to really get fancy you could put this in a little plastic bag if you don't have a pastry bag and uh, cut the tip of the bag off and squeeze it, pipe it into each one. Now for a little color we're gonna sprinkle a little paprika. And I keep my paprika in the refrigerator because it does have a tendency to uh, get a little rancid if it sits on the shelf in your pantry. 
and then to really add some color and taste, we're gonna snip a few chives. My chive box on the back porch has dried up. We were out of town for a while and um, my little herb garden didn't make it through the two weeks we were gone. So I had to buy these and you can find them in the produce section. Cover it and put it in the refrigerator and won't that be fun to have with our beets and our um, anything? You know, this is definitely a picnic kind of food, but sometimes you can uh, just enjoy having picnic food at home. Come visit PC After Dark's new larger location, only a few doors from our original store in the Covington Crossing Shopping Center, Highway 278. We specialize in custom-built, commercial-quality computers and are an authorized dealer of name-brand manufacturers. Our new larger showroom accommodates a wide range of new and used computers, including laptops. Don't miss all that PC After Dark has to offer. Hardware, software, supplies, components, and repair. We take care of all your computer needs. Now we're going to put in three tablespoons of sugar mm -hmm. and three tablespoons of white vinegar. One, two, three. We're going to let that get good and hot and we're going to add a medium size uh, vidalia, if you can get it, onion that's sliced into rings. And we're going to let them get nice and soft. And then we're going to add the beets. These are two cans of beets, drained. And you can use the shoestring kind, the chunk kind, little whole ones. Anything you want. Alright, this is going to make them get a little hot quicker. Uh, the beets. They're right out of the can. There's two cans of them that I've drained. And then when you pour the beets in, you stir it around. They're kind of pickled because you're going to serve this cold. You're going to put it in a, a, I'm just going to leave it in this and keep the top on it and put it in the refrigerator after I stir everything in. And then we're going to add in the beets. And not only that, it's, it's a pretty dish. And we're going to stir in about three big tablespoons of sour cream. And this is what's really gonna make it pretty and tasty. Two, three. All right, now we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna cut off the eye and let it just sit. And then we're gonna give it one more good stir. And then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. And that's that. Now we're going to make the famous, long time been in existence lemonade pie. In this case, it's limeade. Look in the freezer department at the grocery store. There are so many different varieties of frozen juices. Anywhere from grape to pink lemonade to a margarita mix. Um, apple juice. You could make any kind of flavor pie you wanted to with this same basic. And it calls this recipe for a little can of thawed frozen juice. And they don't make little cans anymore. So half of this is six ounces. So we're going to measure six ounces of uh, thawed limeade and make us a lime pie. And talk about easy. Okay. We've got a large container of thawed um, whipped topping. Put it in a nice big bowl. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add our six ounces, um, yeah, six ounces, in other words, two thirds cup of the frozen lime juice, lime aid frozen juice, not lime juice. And then this is condensed milk. And this is what's going to make, oh, ho, ho, ho. no calories in this. 
But you did save calories by using whipped topping instead of whipped cream. Okay? Get every little drop out. And if you wanted to at this point, you could add a drop or two of green food coloring. Well, I don't know if I can wait an hour. That's about how long you're supposed to leave it in the refrigerator to set up. Pour it in these graham cracker crumb pie shells that you bought, already fixed. Then I'm gonna add a little pizzazz to it, okay? I've got some um, green sugar. Oh, see, ain't that pretty? Okay, we're gonna cover this up with the, uh, what was on the bottom of these and stick it in the fridge. Got it? This is something I came up with that uh, has been a hit this summer, this hot, drawn out, long summer. And I did it for a ch children's uh, birthday party. And it's so simple. And we had a dinner party the other night and I bumped it up a notch. So instead of using um, flavored tonic water, I used champagne. And it was quite a hit with the grown-ups. So we're gonna pour a little flavored this happens to be strawberry. Mm -hmm. A little fizzy, a little bubbly. You should put the uh, popsicles in first because you don't want it to spill over. And you serve it, of course, ice cold. Let's put a little more in this one. You can see how champagne would work. Maybe a little sprig of mint would be pretty in it. So we're gonna cut Rosa's cake and add a slice to it. And then there it is. You don't even need the cake. You could put cookies on it right out of the bakery at your favorite store. Just how easy and how elegant. And as it melts, it flavors and colors the water. And so it makes not only a cool and delicious tasting dessert, it's pretty, okay? I've really enjoyed doing this today and I'm so glad to be back. And uh, be, be thinking about what I said earlier. If you've got any kind of questions about recipes or cooking or what to do or what something fails, what not to do, be sure and call the number that's going to be at the bottom of the screen and uh, give your first name and the question and we'll address that next month. I look forward to cooking again with um, Jay and more than that, I look most forward to being with y'all. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Hey folks, Jay James for the all new Honda of Conyers. Thank you for letting us sponsor Miss Irene's show. Go online at any time at hondaofconyers.com. Check out our huge selection of new and used cars. And we are dealing on the east side of Atlanta. We are the east side's used car superstore. And that's hondaofconyers.com. Exit 82, I-20, go south one mile. It's good to see you. Yes, ma'am. I know this place is just too cute. I thank can't wait you. to hear all about it. So what do we do first? The first thing you're going to do, of course, is you're going to grab a bag. Okay. This is our entire menu. All right. Okay, and you're going to go over to the bar and grab a red marker. Uh-huh. And you'll put your name in right here. Any name I want to. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. You want to be Thelma and I'll be Louise. That's good. Okay. That's good. Um, then you decide if you want a burrito bowl or tacos. There are uh -huh. three tacos to a meal. We also have nachos. Once you decide which one you want, then uh -huh. you fill it up with all your goodies. Oh. We have rice, beans, meat, cheese, salsa, and the loaded. Now, everything from loaded all the way up is included in one price. Okay. So you pick your price when you select your meat. If you want the grilled chicken, it's $6.29. That means that you have the potential to put everything on here in your bowl or in your burrito for $6.29. Wow. 
Uh, we also have extras right here. I think I want a bowl. Okay. And I've got choices of bowls. You do. A burrito bowl is basically, it's not an edible bowl. It's a real bowl that you put all your goodies in and would normally be rolled up in a tortilla. Okay. Okay. And they put your lettuce on top uh, because the salad style is built like a taco salad where your lettuce goes on the bottom and all your goodies go on the top. All right. And then, of course, we have nachos that come in a bowl as well. On your, if you wanted a burrito, we have three choices of tortillas. We have regular flour, spinach, and whole wheat. I already changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and the tacos, we have three as well. We have soft flour, crispy corn, and soft corn, which is my favorite. I like the soft corn. Okay, let's go back here and see the cashier. All right. Hi, Dana. Hello, Tony. check these out for us, yes, please. Yes, ma'am. All righty. Are going to be together? They are. Miss Irene, would you like to come back here and watch them make your food? Could I do that? Absolutely. Come on. It'll I be a lot of fun. When Amber starts on this, oh, there's the spinach. Oh, yeah. 13 inch tortilla. That's very nice. That's me. Is that you? My, that's you. That's okay. <laughs> we me get done. All right. <laughs> We've got cilantro lime rice, uh huh, and it's it's really good. A lot of people may not like the traditional because it's got a lot of spices and things in it. Okay. And this is a nice alternative. It is flavorful because uh, they do put cilantro and real lime juice in it. Uh huh. And then we're gonna roll on down, and these are the black beans. Well, Angie, I can't get over this. And here it is, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and folks are just coming on in. Yes, ma'am. It's a full day, huh? It is a very full day. A lot of people like uh, like us for lunch. Yeah. It's pretty busy, but the good news is it's very quick to go through the line. Yeah, it uh, does. The I want. system is designed to, to go very quickly so people don't have to wait in line for long. Look at this. Beautiful. This is the spinach burrito. Yes, ma'am. And then this is one they call the giant. Yeah, it can, it can end up being a giant burrito. It's just mm. all according to what you put in sure. it. Sure. So you have control. It's a customized bowl. Get it? B-U-L-L -L bowl. Got it. <laughs> got it. And this burrito. one over here is Billy's. That's got the corn, the roasted corn, and the chicken. The fajita chicken. Mm -hmm. And then we have little samples here of different kinds of meats that you can add. This would be the fajita chicken. This is the grilled steak the pulled pork, and the carne gasada. A lot of people uh, don't know what carne gasada is, but um, it just gives you a different flavor since we have the ground beef, we have the carne gasada, and the okay. steak. But it's basically a beef roast that's cut up All and, right. and uh, slow cooked down with peppers and onions and seasoning. Okay. So, and you got? I got a burrito in a bowl. Basically, it's all the goodie you would put in there. Just put it in a bowl without the tortilla. Angie is um, from Covington area. And I uh, moved to Texas for a little while and brought back a wonderful idea for this franchise that's called... Burritos. Burritos. The franchisor owns Gringo's Mexican Kitchen, which is in the Houston area, and it's a full-service Mexican restaurant, so he decided to do what they call a counter service, which is fast casual, sure. which is their recipes, but just condensed down into burritos, bowls, tacos, and nachos. You can take it to go. It'd be great to swing by here and get it for before the football game. Yes. Uh, or you can sit down and eat. It's up to you. Now, if you eat in, don't you get something free? Oh, yes, ma'am, you certainly do. Uh, for all of our dining customers, I will buy your dessert. There's a soft serve ice cream machine to the back, and there are little ice cream cones to the right, and you get to make your own before you leave. Hot dog. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up and eat so we can get some ice cream, folks. <laughs> okay.